back with another video. Bro, today is a beautiful day. I'm sitting at the park. That's the type of time I'm on. I'm sitting at the park. <laughs> but um, today I just wanted to make y'all laugh. I got to tell y'all, I got fired from Publix. And it's a whole rundown of how all this stuff happened and down the line. But let me take y'all back. I was working for Publix for four years. Four. And you know, that was like my dream job. That was really like my dream job to get. I was working at other different places, but my main goal was to work at Publix because you know, shopping is a pleasure. So, so I, that was really my goal to go over there and, and actually just work for a company that I, I felt like was the best of the best. And I'm the best of the best. Might as well work for the best of the best too. And um, so it was lovely. It started out all nice and sweet, like a relationship. Started out all nice and sweet. And then, like them little basic relationships, it goes downhill. <laughs> and so, the job started going downhill. We was having different managers, different store managers, different assistant managers. It was, it was just like, oh, it was a hot mess. It was real life hot mess. And um, really, the, the first strike, I give, I give jobs a certain amount of strikes. The first strike was when they were decreasing my hours. And I was like, you know, why y'all decreasing my hours? Like, what did I do wrong for you to decrease my hours? And, you know, they was like, oh, it's because it's the summer and, you know, a lot of people not out here and, you know, less, um, what, what they say? Less people that come in, the less money they make, so the less hours they can give out and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, cool, that makes sense. Then that manager and that assistant manager wind up going to a different store. We got a totally different manager, right? So this manager, this manager was cool. Like she was so chill. She was like, as long as you do your job, I ain't got no problem. No problem. You get as many hours as you want. You want to come in? Let me know. I you can come in. I was like, cool. I finally like Publix again. Like, I love them right now. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the money that I want. Right? Then, she retired on me. She knows she shouldn't have left me. Why, why, why she had to leave? But she, she, she was old or whatever, and she wanted to retire. Fine. She's living her best life now. So we got these new managers. When I say new, I mean like just it got promoted to being a manager so which means you don't know what you're doing i know what i'm doing more than you do technically technically so then they come and then you know how new managers they want to change everything around like no don't do that i got my system let my system be my system like don't come over here and try to change everything like no like this your store it's not it's my store i've been here longer than you and then um so, she waited like a couple months to fill us out and stuff like that. And everything was cool. I thought she was chill or whatever. Until she started to get petty. I'm going to call her Petty Betty. <laughs> petty Betty. She started to get real petty when it comes to, oh, if she feel like she got to do more work or not, she got an attitude. And then she won't yell at people. Like, no, first of all, I'm a mature woman. So treat me as such. We can sit down, have a conversation, talk, woman to woman. Like, I don't care if you're my manager or not, but still have respect for me at the end of the day. I'm still human, just like you are. So don't come at me that way or whatever. So it was different um, situations that had happened like that or whatever. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do whatever to make her happy so that way I ain't got to hear her mouth or whatever so I did all that and then like she didn't even last a year y'all <laughs> she didn't really even last a year um I would say a couple months down the line or whatever she had asked she had asked one of my co-workers that was cool with me at the time to ask me to come in on my off day on my off day what'd that say my off day, which means I don't have to do anything for you on my off day. Period. Nothing. So I told her, I told her no. 
flat out, no, I ain't coming. No. So then that's when she caught an attitude with me, you guys. Homegirl caught a whole attitude with me. Then she wanted to get petty. Oh, because you the manager. You the manager. So this is what I'm going to do as a manager. I'm going to cut your schedule in half. You guys, she gave me one day a week for two weeks. One day a week for two weeks. All right. Now, I know you being petty. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be pettier. I'm going to go to assistant manager, the, the assistant store manager, right? Thinking that she going to actually do something. She going to fix this situation. So I tell her what's going on and stuff like that. I feel like, you know, as an assistant store manager, you should nip that in the bud because First of all, as a manager, you shouldn't be petty. You shouldn't be having feelings or getting in your feelings for because a worker doesn't want to work on their off day. Like, that makes no sense. So I tell the assistant store manager what happened and stuff like that. And um, she, then she going to tell me, well, did you ask her why she scheduled you for one week for two weeks? I'm like, no, there's no reason to because I already know why she did it. That's why I'm coming to you. What are you going to do to fix the situation? Oh, well, you need to go talk to her first. And then if you don't like what she said, they come back to me. There's no point. There's no point in me doing this if I'm coming to you first. Coming to you first. That made no sense. So that's when I knew it was major shade going around there or whatever, right? And so I wound up talking to Betty Petty. Petty. Betty right petty petty or whatever and then she came up with this bull excuse or whatever and but she was low-key mad because i went to the assistant store manager so she was really mad so what she did she scheduled me again for one week for two weeks <laughs> so i was like all right i know what type of time you on so it is what it is all right i'm gonna go work for somebody else then well, since you won't be this petty, I'm going to go work for somebody else. I'm going to take my talents to South Beach. Like LeBron. I'm going to go take my talents elsewhere. They are really walking in this park. We're all black on. They th don't they know it's hot outside? I appreciate them having on a mask, though. But they realize they're all black. I hope the baby don't have on all black either. But yeah, so I went for work for somebody else, right? Which happens to be in my family or whatever. So regardless, I'm still getting money regardless. But all that stuff. So then I got extra petty. I reduced my days to two days. Since you won't play this game, I'm going to help you alone. I only work two days a week now. Now she really mad. Now they calling me, oh, can you come in? Nah, I can't do that. Because when I needed hours, you didn't want to give it to me. Why? Because you were just that petty. So, I was like, you know what? It is what it is. I ain't got time for it. I got me another job. And then I got got me a second job on top of that, right? Quote, unquote. But really, I only had one. But <laughs> So... I did all that and then so I was like you know what it makes no sense for me to continue to work two days a week and get in some change when I could work a full time job that's actually willing to give me hours and not doing petty stuff like this and that's just a waste of my time so I put in my two weeks notice and I was a little key petty cause I did s <laughs> they, they be like explain why so I was like it's time <laughs> time like it's time for me to go so i did that i did it the right way because i didn't want to like leave a sour taste in their mouth i didn't want to leave a sour taste in mine to be like oh she just up and left or whatever i wanted to do the adult way and do it the right way right so i do that and stuff around this time another new manager comes in because petty betty wound up stepping down from her position right she couldn't handle the pressure but she, she claims that, you know, it was because of a child or whatever. But that's foolishness. But all that stuff. And, um, what else that happened? So, yeah, I had did that. And so this new manager had came. And so 
I want to go log in to see like my hours, see what type of like if they schedule me or whatever. And I can't get in. They say your account has been terminated. I was like, what? So basically, I put in my two weeks. So you was baiting on firing me, or you wanted to go ahead and get it, get to it, to it first. So that way I can't get no, what you, I guess like what, when you quit, you can't get no unemployment check or whatever. But I ain't really need no unemployment check because I already had another job, so it made no sense. But, so that's what happened, you guys. They low-key fired me when I tried to put in my two weeks. And I already put in my two weeks, and then a couple of days later, they was like, oh, no, terminate them. <laughs> so, that's what happened, you guys. Um... <laughs> That's my story of how I got fired from Publix. It's low-key funny. Like, I'm really not mad. I'm low-key happy. I'm happier. You know how you just be in a job, and it's just, it just makes you miserable. And then when you leave, you just happy as ever. That's how I feel. I'm happy as ever. I'm in a good place. Happy. Beaming. Whatever. But with that being said, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Tell me how you like this video. Tell me if you want me to do more stories about myself, different opinions of different situations, more reaction videos, everything. Go ahead and share this video. Go ahead and tell your cousin, your daddy, your mama, your sister, your brother, your step daddy, anybody, just whatever. But with that being said, bye guys. We're gonna play now, ready for the show. I'm about to take down, you already know. Get the fuck out of me.